Yo guys, it's Centaur here and I'm back at it again, I'll be a, a bit late uh, doing another Attack on Titan analysis video with Gurjo and Sam. What's again, that episode, banger, just straight what action. Episode? Very sad. It was, it was, very sad, sad as well, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. I mean, it was just a very action-packed episode, not a lot to talk about, it's just sort of, yeah, like, uh, so from, from the start, it basically just picked up essentially directly from where we left off last episode, uh, the, the before this episode. It starts with Hanji and Magda talking to like the engineers, I'm pretty sure, about, you know, how soon, how quickly could they get the, the boat, the phone boat running. Yeah. The, the engineers basically say, yeah. oh, it's going to take nearly a whole day to get it like, yeah. up and running in the sky. Yeah, Mega, they could do it half a day yeah. if they were had the right equipment, is what they yeah, said. Yeah, and Mega are basically saying to each other, like, oh, we're fucked then, because, you know, there's no way we can hold out the harbour for that long. With, yeah. with, with reinforcements coming, yeah. the Jaegers reinforcements coming. And then, so then they, what, um, I think Kiyomi yeah. was like, there's a, uh, in the, there's a, like a, Kiyo, there's a, what's it, Azumbito place within the continent, and it's near the um, border. And they said they could, um, fix the what's it boat there but they need to get to that i mean it's much more but it's a better option and they came to the conclusion okay let's do that instead of just yeah. waiting here they're, basically, they're gonna move the boat like yeah. on the ground they're gonna sail with it yeah so they were just gonna they were just gonna sail with the boat until they got to the oh, island God. and they were gonna fix it and that was the basic plan so yeah yeah then obviously we just cut to we just get to the fighting, fighting. just uh, fighting. Reiner, 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 Reiner and Annie Reiner killing, Reiner. killing people, killing the Jaegerists. One thing, one thing I, I, I said, which was, uh, I had to, I could see this on camera, it was like a, um, I think it was a good continuity thing, was Annie was extremely surprised about the power of the Thunder Spears, because she's never had to deal with those before. Yeah, like when she uh, like put her arm out, and her, her whole arm yeah. just got a blitter in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's and shocked. she's constantly like covering her nape, and it, her fighting style is all the same. It's a very good like continuity thing. Mm. It's like all all the shit, like all the same shit that happened in season one. Is it? It's, it was a good. It was a good payback, I think, towards season one, especially like yeah. that that whole arc, the whole forest arc, the initial forest arc, was such a good arc from season one as well. Yeah. I think it was a very good, like, it was like a little nod. I think it was good that Annie's, yeah. all her fighting style and shit is the same. <laughs> yeah, yeah it was then, just a lot of fighting. Yeah, and later on, uh, they eventually get overwhelmed by the time shifters because they kept on getting, like, bombarded with, well, actually, like, I think it was, like, a few of the Jaegerists uh, were aiming at Annie, and then um, fucking Reiner just, just, Blocked with his face, man, like he always does. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Connor has a serious problem with yeah. <laughs> blocking shit with his face. He did it with he did it when Zeke. Yeah, when Zeke was getting shot by those cannons in the start of season four. Uh, now he did it before in season three. I mean, every That's single fight we've ever has been him blocking, right. <laughs> blocking with his face. But yeah, uh, yeah. We get some cool moments for Mixa and Connie, just notably, where they're just going ham, like, throughout the whole sequence. Like, Mixa yeah. especially. The whole yeah, sequence Mixa's is just yeah. enjoying. Even. Just. Right, bro, these, like, like, demon, demon time, time demon. bro. <laughs> yeah. Mixa was on fucking demon time at that point, bro. She was... The thing was, she did some, she did some like actual like unnecessarily nuts shit. Bro, she like, did a fa she, she did a whole fatality, bro. <laughs> she, yeah. bro yeah. Cut his head off. Yeah, Mortal Kombat. The other guy yeah. Yeah. stabbed them both through the stomach and then used the thunder spear to just blow them up. It was, like, <laughs> it was so unnecessary. Yeah, Mortal Kombat finisher, yeah. Bro. <laughs> So, uh, but, <laughs> yeah, but a bit before that though, um, you get to see like Falco like saying, "Ah, oh, like I need to transform, I need to help out." Um, yeah. And then the others were like warning him not to do, uh, not to go, and then yeah. he goes anyway. Because <laughs> everyone, because they say like, because again, it's a good continuity thing. Everybody's first Titan shift is like uh, bad because they yeah. just lose consciousness straight away, and it's their, their Titan that, is just tiring. Yeah. They were trying yeah. to tell him that, like, don't do it, don't transform, just you know, stay with us. My guy is like, I, he's like that anime protagonist. Like the way I need to, the way he's on my yeah. well, he said, he said like, he said my Porco should have been here. Uh, he would have like handled it way better. Yeah. I don't think, I don't think he would have, he would have handled it better in my opinion. But like, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, he would have. <laughs> he, runs off, he runs off when you know at that point, you know, that he's gonna try to solve. Yeah. yeah, so he, he pork, uh, but not Porco. Uh, Falco runs off and and. 
he transforms. His Titan looks sick. Yeah, fucking killer, bro. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, because that just as he transforms, we cut out to Rhino and Annie, and they're both struggling. They're both about to get like murdered by Thunder's moves, basically. Yeah, and yeah, then I mean, Falco yeah. and just appear at, like as he transforms. And, yeah, it looks sick. It looks like a bird. It looks so, it looks much nicer than. Yeah, I mean, it, it looks like very cool. Um, definitely a lot better and a lot seems a lot more versatile than uh, than some of the other jaw titans that we've seen in the past. Mm. He's a little bit, a little bit more adept for fighting. It's like claws and stuff. It's basically like mm. moved after a bird. So yeah, it's, it's claws and a big beak. It was going it's ham. Like, it, it's a, it's the beak and then it has the actual mouth bit. But yeah, it, it was mm. very cool. It's very good look. I think it, it, it was very cool looking. I think you get uh, to see what's it like. We we have like uh, brushed over a few things like flock. You see like flock like in between the episode uh, like um. What's it? Bringing morale out for the Jaegerists and whatnot, and yeah, then like he was doing something I kind of didn't expect from it because I kind of expected uh, we all kind of expected he was kind of like a pseudo leader almost. Yeah. He was, a, but to he be was fair, shallow. he was a he was a pretty decent leader. I can't lie. Yeah, he, yeah. this moment. Yeah. I think yeah. this is where he, yeah, he's going around and he's fighting and he like, he's, he's, he's doing quite well. He's one of two people alive that listened to um, Irwin's final speech. So that may be that may be one of the reasons behind it. Yeah, like, <laughs> that, fucking, yeah. That, that guy was that guy was like hype machine. But yeah, true. There's a moment where he's losing, where and he does this whole thing where he but he like avoids everyone. And he's bro, he, he went hard, and he bro. Does. Like he went yeah, hard, he, bro. he nearly shoots the boat and stops the whole thing. Then he gets shot by Jean, is it? No, um, no, it was Gabby. Gabby, Gabby. Faye's oh, Gabby, bro. Faye's Gabby. Gabby. She never misses. Yeah, yeah Gabby. <laughs> Gabby she shot her head off. She shot fucking. She shot Shasha, and now she just blunts this product in his face as well. Yeah, she doesn't miss. Just, she's got aimbot, right? Blunts him and he falls into the water. <laughs> Poor guy. So yeah. guys, are, he's yeah. not dead. It's very unlikely that he's dead. He'll be back. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I highly doubt he's dead. Um, Somebody needs to show this brother what's what, though. He, he, I think I think he's got too. I think being the head of the Jaegerist, he's got a bit too big for his boots. Thinking he's too powerful. Oh yeah, he's, he's, he's his got his massive, bro. <laughs> Uh, but the shit he was doing with the other beaters, like trying to do some like fucking psychology shit. No, shut up, you idiot. Yeah, it's also. The same guy who shit himself, like, <laughs> back in season three. Oh, yeah, there, there was also a scene with like um, where they were calling in reinforcements, and then you see like the train full of reinforcements that just all blow up, and they're all like wondering who did it. And then we find out later on, because Magath gets off the ship um, and says, Ah, oh, I'm going to stay here. Um, to just defend the harbor while you not go ahead. And then the boy, the boy comes through. Just... Keith Sardis, bro. Like... I like Sardis, man. <laughs> it was a good send off, I think. Yeah. yeah. Him and Michael have a whole conversation in like the boiler room from like, I think, is it a boiler yeah. room? Yeah, well, like, it's the munitions room. That's yeah. why they blew up the munitions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. And then him and they have a conversation about, you know, how. Uh, Magath basically has a whole speech about like he's like oh if these people are just happy if these like he talks about the uh, I forgot their name for them he goes oh if they're just happy then oh I would have had a happier life rather than you know well, yeah he, he was literally to be fair, he was saying like you know he was he was saying it like if these kids were just happy imagine how happy that would make me you yeah. know because he, he he's he's very regretful it, it was of the shit it was done. really good because it's like. These are both people on opposite sides of the spectrum, but they're both teachers, and they're both yeah, they're like both students, and they care deeply yeah. about their students. So yeah, they've evolved over time. Yeah, to care much deeper than they did originally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I, I guarantee Keith, Keith Shardis at the start didn't really care because a lot of his students would go and they die very quickly. Mm. I, well, it depends on what they joined. You know, like most of them would join the garrison, but then you'd have a lot of the people who just trained that they joined the scouts and they'd just be dead within the first year. Mm. He, he he was obviously a bit, but you know, like recently, especially now with the season four stuff, all the the students were surviving. They were, you know, and he obviously cared very a lot about. His, I think even back then, he cared a lot about his students. Yeah, and it was the exact same thing with Magath. Magath. He had to put on a, almost a facade, if you will, like for the sake of Marley, like you're, you are. Think about it in the exact same way as Nazis with the Jews. You can't, you couldn't sympathize with Jews because then you'd be seen as a sympathizer, and then you'd be, you know, be killed or whatever. So it's a similar thing. 
he didn't want to sympathize with the aliens. He finally gets over that and talks about how like he cares about the kids they see and how he cares yeah. about the children and he wants them to be happy. And then he said, both... I think he said that that was like that was all he actually cared about was the, yeah. the his, his kid like yeah. the kid. And they both no, they both they both say talk to each other about being heroes and being seen as heroes yeah. after doing this saving the world and stuff like that. And then mm. they blow it up and both die and it's very sad. Very sad and they did it really well because it was. No audio, like, just yeah, music. No audio. You just mm. see that hand you like screen, but you don't see you hear the audio, and it was quite quite eerie and sad. And then very, that's basically the episode. Then we had like, the, yeah. 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 yeah, then we had the, the after, after credit scene, which is them talking with Annie about how um, it's a high chance that you know her father's dead, and basically all of the elders, basically their homes. Cause they, they talk about Marley and how by right now the fossil hides are probably stomping all over it. Yeah. <laughs> And like um, Annie was there, like, oh, I've, I've lost my reason to fight now and whatnot. And then Hunt, yeah. and then she, I think it, she was going about like again, like the campfire episode. She was going like, ah, oh, can you guys kill Aaron and whatnot? Like, well, yeah, would you so, be able to? I because mean, she because the thing was she said she, even she can't now. She doesn't want. Yeah, to she, kill yeah, Aaron. she, 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 she even says I don't want to fight you guys anymore. I don't even want to fight Aaron. Yeah, um, she doesn't want to fight. She doesn't want anyone to fight. She just—it's kind of just—I guess it's kind of corny, but it's like she just wants everyone to be happy. Then they kind of bring up the yeah. guy did we've had all along, which is like, if you stop now, then what, what, what was it all for? Like, yeah, exactly. Like yeah, Macbeth. yeah. Hanji yeah. was uh, yeah. brings up. Yeah, it yeah, was exactly like almost like Erwin. You know, yeah. Erwin's final speech. He was saying yeah. like, it, it, it's us, the living, that give value to our dead comrades. Yeah. Would you? Would you say that everything that they've done is in, is in vain? Oh, that's, yeah, that's what he's saying. Yeah. That's kind of the um, got and also, going. like, uh, like what's it? Hanji was saying how like Magath like sacrificed himself just to save like some random stranger, like who he doesn't know, um, and it's basically saying that's what we're doing this for, just to yeah, save people that we don't yeah. really never met and probably yeah. never will meet. That they're gonna never, it, it was going back to the same thing. It's like we're scouts. We you yeah, know we're supposed to save Tech humanity. Life. Yeah, protect, yeah. Life. protect life. That was the whole thing. And the genocide is bad. Yeah. <laughs> that was it. Yeah. Was it. Oh well, one little thing. Me when when Annie asks, "Can you kill Eren?" Mika says she doesn't respond, and her hand is shaking. So I still think she's not ready to. She's not at least now. For now, she's not ready to kill Eren. She mm. she she couldn't bring herself to do it. I don't think. Maybe later on. I feel but like there's one more like, thing that might happen that might leave me to being like, yeah, I can like maybe a death of a certain someone or someone close to her that like, could lead to be like, yeah, I'm ready. Well, the only person that like, kind of would make sense with would be Armin. Armin. I, yeah. that's why if Eren kill kills Armin, Armin, if Eren kills Armin, me would yeah. crack out. Yeah. I think, yeah. I think what, she, she'd so go ape. What could possibly happen? But yeah, that's just mm. the theory. Yeah, that's pretty much it. There's not a lot to talk about. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I can't wait to think about it. Rumors, 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 and rumors. All yeah, right, um, like and subscribe and, and all, all that. Yeah, <laughs> take off. Peace. Bye.